Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am sitting in front of Walmart. I have not left my house in a week other than last night or yesterday afternoon I went outside to drag the barrels, garbage and recycling, to the edge of my driveway for pickup today. That was the first time I exited my abode. And I actually think it feels good to be out of the house. So I think maybe a week is my limit of being a hermit. <laughs> Too bright, though. Do not like that. However, it's probably good for my skin to see sunshine. I don't know if it's good for me or not. I know you're going to say it is, but mentally, not good. Might be good for my skin, my face, and for vitamin D, but I don't give a shit about that. I just don't like mental anguish of sunshine. So, um, I'm in a much better mood today than I have been the past two days. I have been in such a slump, and I was hoping so much that would go away, and today I woke up quite chipper as you can tell, and I have a list of things to get, and sadly was supposed to have a storm starting tomorrow. I wouldn't care other than the fact that it's supposed to be bad, and I'm petrified of losing power, because it's supposed to also be zero and below, and that's not good, because we have no generator, we have no way to stay warm, and I don't know if it would even be possible to get my mother to a shelter if we had to leave, like if we didn't have power for, you know, a long time. I don't think we can last too long at zero. So I'm very worried about that, but can't worry about that right now. However, I do have kind of a list of things to get, kind of a long list, I should say, and I thought I might as well just go out because today it's 27 degrees. It's like fucking summer out here. I didn't even bring a sweatshirt. I do have, you know, three-quarter length sleeves, so I'm good. <laughs> Hey, I opened the door and I'm like, okay, if I can make it from here to the car, then I can make it from the car to the store. I didn't even have the heat on in my car. That's how warm it feels to me. And do you know that I have not once yet put socks on this winter? I haven't. And I have open back mules shoes and I'm barefoot in those suckers. So I really am in denial when it comes to... Um, dressing like I live in a winter wonderland, but it is proof that I don't like the heat and that I much prefer the cold. So I got to go in the store and get started. So come on in. I take you with me. I'm in the store and I'm in the candy section. Thought I would pick up my mother some of these fruit slices that she likes. This big tub is two fifty. dollars Something happened for the very first time ever. I got asked for my autograph <laughs> by a nice man named Gary. Hi, Gary. The shout out is to Gary and his mother because he said his mother is going to be so excited to know that he got my autograph. That was a nice little pick me up. I didn't even think to ask him if he wanted to say hi on camera. I should have done that. All right, we got a lot of stuff to get and candy was not on the list. So I hate that when I shop off the list, but now we're going to try to stick to the list. Hey everyone, I am here with the person, Gary, who asked me for my autograph very first time and his mom, I ran into them again. This is Linda and Gary. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Say hi to the peanut gallery. Hi, peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited that I got to meet them both. Very I nice am people. Too. Thank and you the, so much. I'm yeah. the first one to get her autograph. Yes, too. he is. I'm but, so but excited. It was, it was cool. <laughs> and it was in pink pen on yellow scrap paper. That's, that's right. all I had. That's right. <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. thank you. What incredibly nice people. Okay, I'm getting milk. 374, I'm assuming. 373. It went down a penny. Got some bread. There was only three loaves left like this because people shop when there's a storm coming. It was 138. And I'm picking up these little pretzel cruncher things for a dollar five for you know who. Again, off the list. I'm picking up some lime juice. You would never guess why for my beef jerky. I like to marinate it in some lime juice with hot sauce. It's like Mexican. No sugar that way. I don't know if there's any sugar in hot sauce, but I use very little of that. Cottage cheese must get. I almost grabbed, I did grab a small curd, but I caught myself. I would have been quite sad. Large curd, I can't remember how much it is. 
look at my old videos. Oh, the lime juice is one ninety eight. Expensive stuff. Grabbed some canned vegetables, sliced beets, sixty eight cents. A vegetable medley, sixty eight cents for my mother. All of these. Corn, fifty cents. And green beans, fifty cents. And I got myself. Uh, some extracts that are quite expensive, like three to four dollars. I think this one was three forty-four for the anise. Tastes like black licorice. Drop of that in my coffee. Love that. Pure vanilla for um, two ounces. It was I don't know six something, six something. I said that twice. <laughs> And my almond extract. I used to be able to get a big bottle of that, but I can't now. And again, I don't remember the price. Three dollars, four dollars, something like that. Okay, let's keep going. My sleep drug of choice, Benadryl. And I can't believe they have a new container. I always get the 25 milligram, 100, and it's four dollars. This is 25 milligrams, 375 can't see without my glasses. 365 and it was 876. So you do the math. I'm saving a bundle. And just hope I live long enough to use them all. <laughs> I need deodorant. This is my favorite by far. I always have somebody say, why don't you get the good stuff? You're always so hot and sweaty. This is the best for me. I've tried them all in my 57 years and it's only 197 for the Suave. And yeah, it's antiperspirant deodorant. I don't need the deodorant part, but it comes with it. So I'm taking it. It's the antiperspirant that I like and I got it. I was hoping they'd have that Hatfield ham that I like that I got at Hannaford, but they don't. This is only 328 per pound, Smithfield. But they have honey cured and then hickory smoked. Why can't they just leave stuff alone and give us ham flavored? My mother would prefer honey cured. I would prefer hickory smoked only because I'm assuming not as much sugar in that, if any. Three grams of sugar in the smoked. They do have the Hatfield Classic. But it's gigantic. It's only $2.94 per pound as opposed to $3.79 per pound at Hannaford, but it's big. I don't want to pay $25 bucks for ham for right now and it's not sliced. I don't know. I'm getting in a bad mood. I've decided I'm going to get this one. It is only seven something, seven sixty-eight. I'm gonna get that for my mother. It's the honey one, which I know she'll like that better than the smoked. And uh, just because she is like all into the ham and I ran out today, she had the last slice for lunch. I'm gonna look at chicken wings. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. They're not optimal, but I have been living off top round of beef for a long time now. Before that it was Chuck. And I'm gonna treat myself to some wings, even though I do believe they're coated and I don't like that. And I'm shopping as I'm talking to you. My mother, again, she wouldn't like these as much as the, she doesn't care for barbecue sauce either. I could just cook my own, but I just don't feel like it. They never come out right when I do it myself. Oh, I got everything on my list except for eggs and cheese. I prefer to get that at Hannaford. The prices are better there and I don't need any right now. So I'm going to wait. I did pick up tomatoes and bananas for my mother and there was only like five tomatoes in the whole store. And I remember hearing something on the news about a tomato shortage. So I picked up two, the two that looked the least damaged. <laughs> no, they actually looked good. So now I gotta go home and upload this. For those of you waiting for the YouTube earnings update, as of last night, the earnings had updated through December 31st, but my views and watch time and all that was still stuck on December 30. They have updated. I don't know if I will be recording that today though because I have this video so if not for sure tomorrow you can watch for that and my eyes are watering I'm going to just go home 
and put all this stuff away. My least favorite part. Shopping is fine, but the bringing it in the house and putting it away, I don't like, I don't like to do that part. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Another big shout out and hello to Gary and Linda. It was really nice meeting you. I mean that. And luckily you hit me in a very good mood. <laughs> yesterday I would have been like Ugh. um I'm just happy to feel better because I just am anyway thank you so much for watching I'll be back with more soon bye